I was expecting that a lot of the patients that I'd be seeing would be relatively heavily medicated and um, having a difficult time managing themselves. So. And what then? What was what? You know, and you found out that there is actually a lot of other ways that um, people who are dealing with these kinds of illnesses can be treated. And um, I was blown away by the tools that this um, that Seclair is able to provide to all of their patients. So not only are they providing them with medications to help them get better and um, give them the best opportunity to heal, they also provide them with um, the behavioral therapies and some different uh, tools based on actions that they can take in their lives to eventually um, make themselves better as well. Here we learn, um, I've learned a lot about mindfulness and being in the present. So I um, tend to get very anxious about the future and about all these different things that will be coming up. But when you take a step back and focus on where you are right now, and, um, and then you can, I feel like I've been able to better uh, take everything one step at a time and it's decreased my stress level. And um, by being more mindful about the things that are going on around me, I've been able to appreciate more and be more present. Be right here, right now. <laughs> I would say be very open-minded because this practice um, is very different than what you would think with, and, and psychiatry is a very difficult field to begin with. And then you have the inpatient, you have outpatient, you have more of the behavioral training. So there's so many different facets of psychiatry and this place um, has a unique way of combining all of that together Together to um, help some of the sickest of the patients and so um, by being open-minded and willing to learn new things um, you will be able to grasp a lot from here and the tools that you learn here are applicable in all fields not just psychiatry so by being present and mindful when you're in the emergency department you might be able to pick up on something a little nuance or a pain that this patient might be having if they can't communicate with you or by um, figuring out the root cause of why somebody is struggling with their weight and diabetes as opposed to um, just looking at the numbers and seeing that they aren't being compliant or whatnot. So um, by being mindful and taking a step back and trying to figure out the root cause of things and by being present and open to uh, picking up on little nuances that your patients present, it's an invaluable tool that you'll have for the rest of your life. And if you can remember to practice that in your daily practice, um, you will be 10 steps ahead of the next person and you will be a practitioner that people want to continue to see. By taking a holistic approach to medicine, you're not only treating with medications, but you're treating the mind, body, and the spirit. So um, when you're looking into how you can best reach a patient, some people it's gonna be through their faith, some people it's gonna be through um, just having a confidant or somebody to talk to. So. Um, Medicine is not just about treating the problem that is visible because a lot of times it's like peeling back an onion. There's other layers, there's deeper layers, and there's different things that will come up at different times throughout their treatment. So um, by being holistic and being mindful and looking at the person as a whole as opposed to a specific diagnosis or a treatment plan that you're supposed to stay on, you'll actually have a better outcome. And here we also encourage the um, the meditation piece of it to bring down and, and to get you back into the present. They also encourage um, a healthy diet and exercise because what you put in your body um, has a big impact on, on your mood and your brain and, and how your normal chemistry is going to react as well. So um, I would just try to take as much of this holistic mind mindset approach into your everyday medicine no matter what field you're in because um, there is usually a silver lining. There's always something else that could um, actually be factoring into why somebody is struggling and so by taking a step back and um, reevaluating when something doesn't seem right uh, you might be able to actually pick out that problem that might not even need medication or might not need certain things. So. <laughs>